would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Revelio. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Accio! Glacius! Kimbringo! Accio! Glacius! Kimbringo! legs is simply too many. Lumos. Hobbs's master is awful. Revelio. Lumos. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Confrey! Bring up. Descend. 
Looks as if Tobbs was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Rebellion. My fault you're a deadly great spider. Ugh! <sighs> 
That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Revelio. feeling that house elf is tops. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. Revelio.
table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful! Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my! Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master when he... died. Uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Well, Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. Revelio. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. New instruments are expensive, you know? Loyalists are a menace. What can be done? Aloha more. Rebellion. I should investigate.
mind now, Demi guys. Rebellion. Rebellion. Indani and Leviosa. Rebellion. I wonder who lives here. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardo Beaumont? Oh, hello again. How nice to see you. And yes, I did. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Rebellion. track.
Is that Amphibious wearing a wooden jumper? That must be Bardolph. Incendio. to know what really happened to him. Revelio. An entry from Bardolph's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolph's turn next. Revelio. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. My brother is all right. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Bardolph? What do you know of my brother? regret to say that Bardolph had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolph? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no, no, this can't be. <gasps> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, Bardolph! wouldn't have left without saying goodbye, would you? I couldn't help but overhead. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. My apologies. I've not been myself since we last met. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. It's Ranrock I have to thank for losing Bardolph. If only I could somehow rid our hamlet of these monsters. I'm simply at my wit's end. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. I can't believe he's never coming home. Part of me wants to avenge the loss of my brother. Whilst another part of me simply wants to hide. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <laughs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Medallion. 
It seems as though things are getting worse. Must be on my guard. One less human to worry about. Camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Wait a moment. Not quiet enough. Does Hogwarts teach you? Good friend. I hate that. Levy on the Look at it. One less follower, Ranrock. One camp down, one more to go. Revelio. Less human to worry about. I'm famished. Arrest on the Descender. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Leviosa. Remendo. Defendo. Repulsa. You're the one who released Oaks. Let me also. Ah! Defender. Ah! Defender. Ah! Oh. No! Oh. 
I will make you pay. Good for Both camps cleared. Madame Beaumont will be glad to hear that. It's like a place right out of a story. I do appreciate what you went through to find my brother. Thank you. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. Oh, I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. I'm especially grateful. You did for Bardolf what I could not. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? I do appreciate what you went through to fight. Thank you. Sincerely. Oh, you like that? A fine choice. Thank you for passing through. I do appreciate what you went through to find my brother. Thank you. Tips in the hat, if you please.